Okay, let's say you have an Expo app that you just made, and now you want to change the icon as well as the splash screen. Once I reload it, the splash screen, because you want it to look nice. So what you're going to do is go down to the description below. I'll add this link right here. This goes to the splash screen and app, kind, app icon on the Expo documentation. We're going to click on the Figma, Figma template, and then we're going to say open Figma, and it's going to give us three different icon screens, the iOS, Android, and the splash screen. So for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for an icon. I'm looking for a brain. PNG is usually the best call, and we're going to go for the images, and we're going to get one that pops out to us. So let's see. I kind of like this heart one. Uh, actually, this, this bulb is kind of cool. I kind of like this bulb. So we're going to save image. I'm going to say PNG brain image. Save it to the desktop. Now we are going to go to our finder. We're going to go to our desktop. And then we have our file right here. We're going to throw it in. And now we are going to upscale it. We want it to fit on the outside of this line and the inside of this circle right here. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller can make it a little taller and then we're going to call it a day and then we have this background right here we're going to delete that because we do not want that because otherwise it will show up in our app icon so we're going to control c and we're going to throw this now into our adaptive icon and we're going to do the same thing so we are going to make it small enough where it fits inside the big one, but big enough where it's outside the small circle. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go over here and we're just gonna hit, we're gonna hit delete, delete, delete. And there we go. We have our adaptive icon right there. And now we're gonna copy and paste this image as well. And we're gonna throw it right here. We're just gonna throw it in the center. That looks good. It can be smaller if you want, but I'm just gonna keep it as it is. And the same thing, we are gonna go over here and hit delete. And same thing over here, we're going to go over here to the background and hit delete so that doesn't show up. And then we have our icon, adaptive icon and splash screen. And as you can see down below, it shows a demo of all three uh, and what they look like. So now we are going to hit hold down shift and select all three. We're going to go to the top left, hit file and export. And then we're going to go over here, hit export. Now we're going to go back to our code editor and I am using cursor. I'm on the hype train. Cursor. And we're opening up our simulator. And now we open up our finder and we go to our downloads and unzip the file that we just got. We are going to click into it. We're going to sh control shift and add these to the assets folder, the images, and we're going to replace the three that we already have. And as you can see here, it hasn't been fixed because the first thing we are running on the native code. And so every time we, this runs off these files and basically we have to regenerate our Android and iOS folders right here. So we do that by running NPX Expo prebuild, NPX Expo run iOS, boom. And as you can see, we have our screen and that looks so good. Look at that. That looks very official. And if we do command D and we hit reload, we have our big light brain light bulb.